the wrestle in the world championships, placing fourth. He is looking for his first senior world medal representing Slovakia. Now, interesting, Salkazanov, he defeated Nabiev in last year's U23 world final. And he's a former athlete from Russia, now wrestling for Slovakia. Uzerbaev, uh, Galimshan Uzerbaev, he was just a hair away from being an Olympic medalist in 2016, where he finished fifth. And he is a hammer with his hands. This should be an interesting match. I'm looking for some really hard hand fighting and uh, head position for both men just to get in position to score. You mentioned that near miss in the Olympics in Rio. He wrestled the bronze medal match, came up just short. Now he tries to earn the world bronze in his home country, the capital city here in Nur Sultan. The noise already amping up a couple of notches. Anytime you see that Kazakhstan yellow, that singlet, the familiar singlet that they like to wear in these medal matches. And they have awesome fans. By a very partisan crowd here. Uh, and they've lifted their team. Right now, they're in second place in the tournament. They've wrestled very well and uh, been consistent throughout every weight. And I don't think anybody, any of the, the so-called experts, would have predicted Kazakhstan to this week. No, but every time there's a, a, a world championship in, in a home country, they always step up. They sleep in their own bed. They're used to the time zone. They're, they're, they're used to the food that they're eating. There is a home field advantage, and they get treated very well yeah. in their own country. Their heroes walk in the streets of Nurseltan. Slovakia warned for the heavy head slap. No score, a little more than a minute in. Slovakia shooting in with Sal Kanaz Kaznov. 20. Drums start up inside the bars. Working with that underhook on that right side was Kazakhstan. And a point given to Kazakhstan. So one on the step out there. Was probably smart of Salkazanov to step out there because he had his arm trapped in that body lock and he could have gone for a ride had he pushed back in. He said, I'll give up the one instead of giving up the four or even the fall. Usherbaev has simply been a hammer since he decided to move up to 79 this year. Took the silver at a couple of tournaments. Now he's on the defensive. A shot by Slovakia. Ratches is up the two legs. Has a lace possibly trying to get a turn. Referee did not signal two. You saw the judge in the backdrop confirmed by the mat chairman go two. So Slovakia goes up two to one. He's not giving up on the legs either. Although Kazakhstan's able to readjust and get out of harm's way. And I remember it wouldn't have been a two point takedown until a knee was down. His knee hadn't gone down yet. As soon as his knee went down, you saw the judge uh, put two up and our official in the middle of the match uh, not given that two until it was time. So a two to one lead, Slovakia on top, 335 and counting to go, first period. Shot by Usurbaev, nothing there. Nice head smack. Right to a changing of a level uh, by Uzerbaev. Move one there, but he wasn't in any danger. So he was able just to circle right back up without putting himself in a position to get scored on. Takes another shot, first period over, 2-1 Slovakia. Slovakia took one shot, and Salkazanov uh, was able to get that attack and finish for two. Usurbaev have made the decision to move up to 79 right after the Asian Championships where he earned a bronze medal, but that was down at 74 kilos, bumping up to 79 for these World Championships. Sal Kazanov has been here all year long as far as this particular weight class, one of the young bright stars for the country of Slovakia. And he was changed his level and didn't go straight in. He worked his butt to the outside, created a great motion, 
and uh, was able to get to the ankles and continue to go in a circle and get that rotating motion to score the two takedown. Let's talk second period tactics. First off for Kazakhstan and Usur Bayev. From what you saw the first three minutes, what do you anticipate from him? I, if I'm his coach, I'm saying he's going to need to take two or three shots at a time. One and done isn't going to do it. He's got to get Salkazanov uh, moving before he makes an attack. So that first attack right into a second or third attack is the only way he's going to be able to score. The defense of Salkazanov and the offensive reattacks that he's doing, uh, he's going to need two or three in a, in a row to score. Trying to avoid the step out. Effectively circles back into the center. Good quick footwork by Usurbaya. Again, those head snaps really are, are, are working that lower back, moving the feet. And if you can get a good snap down, get the hands down. When their hands come up, that's where you're going to see that counter attack or that second attack. So he needs to stay pulling and moving the head of Sal Kazanov. Right there, he bailed after his first attack. And there's the counter by Slovakia. In on the leg. Can Sal Kazanov finish it off? Nice hips by Uzerbaev. He was, he was willing just to go stalemate there because there's only two minutes left in the match. He wanted to get it, go back up to his feet so he can get his own attacks. You saw there, and you saw the same thing um, at the 61 kilograms. Uzerbaev looked to throw him by and do a little elbow pass. But as soon as he was doing that, Salkazanov chopped his level and went in on the leg attack. So he gave up his hip, did Uzerbaev, and almost gave up a takedown. Comes in reaching, front headlock control by Salkazanov. And a stalemate, clock stops. We're nearly halfway through this final period. Crowd getting a little antsy. Kazakhstan down a point in a low scoring bronze medal bout. Well, we haven't seen the multiple attacks from Usurbaev yet in this period that you were feeling he needed to do to get the fleet footed Salkazanov off balance. He comes with one shot. Again, one and done. Comes back in. This time, caught. Salkazanov ready for it, working that front headlock, spinning around, lowering that torque, trying to hook up that near leg, and now a whistle. And a whistle from the official, a warning giving to Salkazanov. Yeah, he said his hands moved to the side and were on that, uh, on the throat, choking him a little bit. You can't do that. Uh, you know, if you're tight enough, you can really put your opponent out if you create the torque on that neck. So our official stopped that before uh, it, it got dangerous. Nusser Bayev's going to try to open up. There's a, a double shot. Second one, a little bit more effective than the first. This crowd getting behind him now, making a lot of noise. And remember, one step out is not going to do it. Up one point's not going to do it. He needs to score a two-point move here, because right now, uh, he's trailing 2-1 on a one two-point move, and there's a step out for Salkazanov. He goes up 3-1, to one, and uh, right now he's, he's really got control. Now, if Uzerbaev Uzer is able to get a two-point takedown here, he will hold criteria uh, with a two-point move and a tie. He'll hold criteria. Yeah, that step out not really significant for Kazakhstan. He was going to need to regardless. Change of direction, started left, hooked right, no. Salsikhanov has just shut everything down tonight, and now the referee jumps in and will award a caution and one. So it's three to two. Well, he didn't get confirmed. Uh, our official asked for a passive, asked for a caution one for fleeing to hold a negative wrestling. He wasn't able to get it. And Salkazanov has held position in the middle of the mat, but he hasn't made contact, and he's been running away. Now we're going to see the caution one, and I will be surprised if we don't get that confirmed. We do get a confirmed caution in one. Three seconds to go, however. Might be a little too little too late for Uzerbaev. 23 years old. Taimura Salkazanov has earned the bronze. And this crowd gets very quiet. 3-2 your final, Slovakia. The U23 gold medal winner from a year ago has fought for bronze 12 months later.
he winced when he got his arm raised. I saw him do that last night in the 